Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we'll take some examples of disaccharides. So there are three major disaccharides. One is sucrose which is found in sugar, maltose in milk and lactose in carbohydrates. So lactose is these two. This is lactose. Maltose is this guy. And sucrose is this sugar. So we'll talk about these things in detail now. Let's talk about sucrose now. The one which is found in sugar. So this is commonly called as table sugar. And this is non-reducing. I'll show you why it is non-reducing. See here, as I have told, for a compound to be reducing it should have either aldehyde, ketone, or hemi acetyl group. Correct? So aldehyde ketone is not there. Let's see for the possibility of hemi acetyl. So there are four, poss four possible carbon we can explore. Carbon, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, and this carbon. Because all these carbons has OR group attached. Okay? Because OR group is mandatory. So let's assume this carbon and let me number it A, B, C, A, B. Let's talk about carbon A. If you talk about carbon A, there's a R group attached here on the top. There's again one R group attached here. There's an OR group attached here. And there is a hydrogen attached here which is implicit which is not so. Is this hemicetal? No. This Carbon A is non-reducing. Let's see for carbon B. This is my carbon B. There's an OR group attached here. Here also there's an OR group attached here. And there are two hydrogen attached. That is implicit. So there are two OR group attached. It is acetyl. It is not hemiacetyl. So this is also non-reducing. Let's talk about carbon C. Carbon C, if you see, has one CH2OH, that is an R group. O something, that is OR group. Again, this is an R group. And this is a H hydrogen implicit. So here also, if you see, is this a hemicidal? No. For it to be hemicidal, there has to be one OH and one OR group. OR is there, but OH is not there. So C is also not reducing. Let's talk about D. D, if you take, there's a carbon here, there's an OR group attached here. There's a CH2OH, there is also some R group. This is also one R group attached here. And there's a hydrogen implicit. So here also you see OR, R, R and H. This is also not hemiacetal. So none of this uh, probable carbon which we have seen is hemiacetal and none of them are aldehyde or ketone. So this is non-reducing because none of the carbon is a reducing carbon. So this is a non-reducing sugar. And please note, sucrose is the only disaccharide which is non-reducing. Other uh, disaccharides are reducing, we'll see that. So if you want to see the formation of sucrose, so we have seen that I have a, a glucose, I have a fructose, the C1 of this glucose and C2 of this fructose, right? They combine and they lose one water molecule and they form this glycosidic linkage and this is nothing but my fructose. Sucrose, this is my fructose actually, my sucrose. Right? I'm talking about the sucrose formation. So glycosidic linkage is between C1 and this is C2 actually. So C1 of glucose, alpha D glucose, and C2 of beta D glucose. Please note this is alpha D glucose here and this is beta 2 fructose. So C1 of alpha D glucose and C2 of beta D fructose, when they form a glycosidic linkage between C1 of alpha D glucose and C2 of beta D fructose you form sucrose and if you see the hydrolysis of sucrose you will get the reverse product you have the sucrose when you do hydrolysis what you will get is alpha d glucose and beta d fructose because you use these to form sucrose obviously so when you do hydrolysis you will get the same thing back you will get alpha d glucose and beta d fructose as i told this beta fructose is minus laboratory 
and glucose is plus dextro pituitary right and please note here is this sucrose the interesting thing here is what this is dextro rotatory correct but on hydrolysis what happens is what happens is this becomes labo rotatory so if you see here this guy is dextro rotatory sucrose and its optical rotation is plus 66.5 degree and what you get is glucose glucose is also plus 52.7 degree but fructose you get is minus 92 degree and if you see overall if you use add these you get minus 39 degree almost right so you had started with plus 66.5 degree that is my dextro rotatory and what you got is overall minus 39 degree that is my labor rotatory and thus if you see the optical rotation of the mixture has changed right the sucrose was plus 66.5 dextro rotatory the mixture is minus 39 degree that is labor rotatory mixture because this is about the mixture individually we talk about glucose and fructose one is labor rotatory one is dextro rotatory but this fructose is much more labor rotatory it is minus 90 degree and this is only plus 52 so overall if you add this mixture this is minus 39 degree so what is happening here is overall if you see the reaction the reaction is from plus 66.5 to minus 39 degree so the optical rotation changes so it is also called invert sugar correct let's talk about the another important disaccharide that is maltose so let's talk about maltose now the word if you see maltose is derived from the word malt and this is what malt if you have some cereals and you germinate this in water you get this uh, roots kind of structure is called malt and it's it's mostly found in potatoes also and it's composed of two alpha d glucose please if you see it has two alpha d glucose alpha d glucose alpha d glucose and in which if you see c1 of this is linked to c4 of this there are two alpha d glucose linked by again glycosidic bondage c1 of one alpha d glucose linked to C4 of another alpha D glucose. Correct? So if you see it's composed of two alpha D glucose. They are same. And this is a reducing sugar. Let's see how. So the possibility are this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, and this carbon. Correct? Let me name it A, B, C, and D. Let's try carbon A. In carbon A, there is a CH2OH group, that is R. There is an OR group here. There is an H here. And this is also an R. Is this reducing? No. Let's try with B carbon. B carbon, there is a carbon here. There is an OR group attached here. There is a, again OR group attached here. And then there is a again R group attached here. And there is a H. Is this reducing? No, it is acetyl. So let's try with carbon C. Carbon C. C carbon is this. So this is one R group attached. One some O R group attached on the left hand side. And then some R attached here. And one hydrogen attached, which is this. Is this reducing? No, it is also not reducing. Let's try with D carbon. This this guy. Sorry, there are two more carbons actually. This carbon D and E also. Let's try with D carbon. D carbon, one R group, one O R group, one H. Again one R. This is also not reducing because it is not in hemicycle form. Let's try with E carbon. E carbon. 
there's a carbon here there's a hydrogen here there's a OH in the bottom there's a OR here and this side is a R here so you see this is a hemiacetyl form correct C with OR and one OH and these can be one R or one H or both R so this is a hemiacetyl form since this is a hemiacetyl form this is reducing so this carbon is a reducing carbon so this is this maltose has one reducing carbon it is a reducing sugar please note not all the carbons are reducing carbon here only one carbon is reducing carbon the next is lactose now we'll talk about lactose it is also a disaccharide the way the word lactose came from milk because lactation is the period where uh, a female gives milk lactose from the milk also called milk sugar also called milk sugar it's found in milk okay now this composed of beta d galactose and beta d glucose and there's a link between c1 of the galactose and c4 of glucose so glucose and galactose combine to form lactose correct it is a reducing sugar again so let's see what are the possibilities so this time let's see the carbon which has oh bond at least and also or so this this carbon has or but there is no oh so we'll ignore this carbon this carbon has or h or oh, no oh we'll ignore this carbon also Let's talk about this carbon. This carbon has OR, H, there is no OH. We'll ignore this carbon. Let's talk about this carbon. This carbon has H, there is no OH. We'll ignore this carbon. Let's talk about this carbon. This carbon has OH, OR also. So we'll take this carbon and let's see if this is a reducing carbon just to save time. So let's, this is C star carbon. There's an OH group here. There H group below. This is OR group and this is some r dash group so we see this is a hemiacetyl form since it is a hemiacetyl form this carbon star carbon is a reducing carbon and since there is one reducing carbon this this is a reducing sugar so so lactose is a reducing sugar correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.